Are you injured? It's a wonder you and Glory don't set off metal detectors. Not now. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. We need to talk to... I think we're supposed to talk to Cleo over here, if I recall. Confirmed. Agent Charmer has arrived. I have a mission for you. Without increasing efficiency of synth traffic flow, odds of entire organization being compromised increase daily. Solution. A new distribution center needs to be established. All right, just tell me what to do. So, give me the details. Pacify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and future railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. Start I drive in. Okay, cool. Uh Let's go over here. Talk to Tinker Tom real quick. Let's try to stay out of the triggers. Hey, the sister sweep says you're clean. Hooray! Good luck, Freak. You scanned me without my consent? It doesn't matter. Those conventional tests are garbage. Oh. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. No. I never eat anything. You see, that's smart. That's smart, man. S M A R T. But you gotta be careful. Is that the Institute so? has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report that. Hey, <gasps> Tom, that's rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. Why is this lunatic even here? A question oft asked. <laughs> Tinker Tom is a genius when it comes to engineering. About everything else. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. There's, there's the moment. Says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? There's no way in hell I'm letting you do that. Huh. Let them hear and see everything. Okay, okay. I hope you like your whole life being downloaded. To the Institute's mainframe. Actually, I dose myself with radiation to kill the blood robots. I read you, man. <laughs> Smart. I'd rather have some hair loss than let the Institute win. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back and I will set you up. I'd appreciate the help. You and me, we will team up and kick those son of a bitches out of here. Now, I got all these ideas in my head. So building time. Uh-huh. What's up, Deacon? Hey. You called? Hey. Hey, I, I got something important to say. I really appreciate you putting up with my bullshit. Truth is, it's been a long time since I, I've had a friend. Mm -hmm. I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is, I'm a fraud to my core. When I was young, a hell of a long time ago, I was, well, scum. I was a bigot, a very violent bigot. Go on. I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone who thought he's a sin. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns, then, inevitably, a lynching. The clause leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the sin. Looking back, I'm not so sure. I had no idea. No one does. Why so would I you? My back on my <laughs> brothers broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. Barbara, well, she was, she just was. What was she like? 
She had a smile like on those old magazine covers. Her eyes. We were trying for kids, eking out a living. Then one day, turns out my Barbara, she was a sin. She didn't know that. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the death clause found out, but there was blood. That must have been terrible. I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the claws. I must have made a big impression. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. After what happened to my family, I can understand. I thought you might. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Des, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. Everyone's got a past. The important thing is you're trying to make up for it. I'm still on your side. I'm not the hugging type. So, yeah. Good talk. <laughs> cool. Now we can What's kick Deacon loose. Hey. What you, What's going on? I think it's about time we called it quits. Well, all good things must end. But as soon as you take care of whatever you're taking care of, come grab me. Okay. Hearing about things on the sideline isn't my style. Mm. And then you can just hit cancel and he'll stay here. Careful, man. The Institute is everywhere. See, <clears throat> you need anything? Show me what you got. <clears throat> Take a look. You might have something for the deliverer. That way I don't have to buy stuff. Um, maybe not. Sometimes he does. Okay, so we'll just sell him something. Do we have synth parts? I think we have synth parts. Yeah, there's 27 of them, or 26 of them. We'll just get rid of all this. Oh, there, that's perfect. Cool. Um, while we're here, let's just buy those. We can get rid of the rest of that. And these smokes. This manual, we don't need it anymore. The buff out, the jet. Oh, 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 we're going too far, going too far. But there we go. Okay, good. Thanks. Yep. All right, back out of here. We're going to head to Sanctuary, and what we'll do is kind of kill two birds with one stone here. Okay, so we're going to get into a lot of combat over the next episode or two, maybe three. Um, I think the, probably the best thing to do is just kind of clear out that side there. We'll, we'll get the parts we need for... Ten Pines. We'll get the stuff we need for... Um, Starlight Drive-In and to do all that we'll probably just kind of clear out Lexington. The whole thing. The whole works. We don't need that. We don't need that. We'll keep this. We don't need that. We don't need these or that. We'll kind of clear out all the inventory here. Good. And good. All right. Uh, let's just clear this out just a hair because what's going to happen is 
all the stuff that's been broken down, it's going to send it through. <laughs> so if we clear this out now, then it won't have to try and send it through later. What I need to do is actually stand here and let this work. Okay, good. Let's head over to Ten Pines and then we'll work down this we'll work down this way here to to uh, the Corvega. Actually, we can just just zip over to Lexington. <laughs> Why not? We'll get started uh boy. It's going to be tight. I don't know if I can clear the super duper Martin the amount of time I've got left. You could probably uh, work on picking off these raider, the raider with the fat man and the power armor here in Lexington. We could work on doing that. Um, that might take what time I've got left, and then we're going to get the rest of Lexington cleared out. The whole thing, the Super Duper Mart, Corvega, uh, the apartment complex, all of that stuff. We're just going to work through it and get rid of everybody. And then collect a bunch of junk for these settlements. Oh, I should have got the donut stuff already. We're gonna take all. We're gonna take all this stuff. I need it all for the settlements. That those have oil in them. I don't really need the. So we need. <laughs> oh, let's take the backpack off for now. We'll get it when we need it. Good, stick your head out of here. <laughs> nope. Let's go on the other side. Nope. Swing the back. Hmm. He's almost gone. He's almost goners. Come on. One more sneak attack got to do it. Please don't see me. Don't shoot that thing off. There it is. Boom. Look at that. On the fly. Got a bunch of ghouls down here. Ugh. We might as well use these. My goodness. Took long enough. We don't need the hairbrush. Uh, that's steel. Take that. Yeah. Coffee cup. You know, it's interesting is how much this game has changed uh, versus like Fallout 3, where now I haven't played a lot of Fallout 3. I've played just a little bit. But you're just collecting junk on Fallout 3 just to sell it. You know, it doesn't do anything for you besides offers you something to sell. But we're, on, we're low on ammo over here. Come out, come out, wherever you are. But we're using this stuff to build settlements. Interesting. I mean, 
I do just need to complete continue playing Fallout 3. I just I get lazy is what happens. Same with these videos. I get lazy. That guy's missing his head. We'll definitely take the fat man. We can sell it. Uh, let's be very careful over here. There's so there's a bunch more ghouls in this building. <laughs> ah. Ah, kick ass. Doop. He doesn't know how to get over here. We got that cool little flaring of the silver shroud jacket. But it's so far away; it's not going to work. For, it's not going to work very well for a screenshot. Is this going to hurt? No, it's not going to hurt. I'm just clearing some of this inconsequential stuff for now, because it's going to take more than eight minutes or whatever I've got left. Is he coming back? I think he's just patrolling. We're exposed big time. Maybe not. Where'd he go? Oh, it probably patrols around the building. Usually they're dead by the time I get here because the ghouls kill them. Huh. He's holding on to the last mini nuke because he lost his fat man. Maybe the raider is the one that got the fat man. No, 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 no. No, we don't need to drink the water. Damn it. Where are you going? More than that, how are you floating around? There's no current in this pool. We got enough time to take care of this uh, apartment complex here. Lexington Apartments. And now that we're close enough, we'll probably uh, take on Corvega and then hit up the Super Duper Mart. Ooh, some dirty water next to this dog dish. Next to this gal and her. She's making tea? She's making tea. Uh, oh, here's a lantern. I can't get back there, so I guess I won't get it. The lantern's got glass and oil, so it's it's worth getting. If you're building settlements. This guy stood on landmine here. Raiders. And their trickery. Oh, here's one. We'll just surprise them with some explosives. Ew. Surprise! <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I think something's broken. <laughs> Take those grenades. There's a library book over here. There's some copper. Uh, some more copper. Okay. Uh, and then out the door this way. Oh, take the glass. Leave the pepper mill. Phew. There's one more little apartment complex over here that's... Got a couple of raiders and a couple of turrets. And some loot that I can't get to yet because I don't have any lock picking skills. What in the 
world. Duper Mark. That's right. We gotta go this way a little bit further. There it is. Right over here. There we go. Oh, jeez. I got the other turret. I got a little bit left in me. Ouch, there goes an arm. You do? Well, just hang on. We right over there. Check these ghouls for anything worthy. All right, that's both turrets. Oh, wait, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hold on, hold on. Now, to get up there. I have to go round up the stairs and the door across the bridge ammo can expert lock some gent ouch uh, ooh, there's a kickball we'll take that oops, oops. up there there's a cam box up here. And some more goodies. And down here. Oh my goodness. Hi, guys. Let's go into Corvega through the bottom entrance, through the sewer tunnel. So we go this way, this way, right over here to this break in the fence. And we'll pick up here in the next video.